Samjad, I mean, watching the spectacle, what do you make of this? Because you've been also crisscrossing, campaigning as well. Well, when the elephant and the butterfly are fighting, the umbrella is cruising to victory. I mean, um, let's call a spade a spade. Baumia is the worst thing to happen to Ghana's economy. You forget anything President Kufo says. I have respect for President Kufo, but clearly President Kufo is not being objective. Um, and we would have taken President Kufo's words very seriously if at the time that pensioners like him, he's fortunate, the state pays all his bills. Um, if, but unlike the majority of Ghanaians, whose bills are not paid and whose medical bills and light bills and water bills and travel care and stuff are not taken care of by the taxpayer. Mm. He, President Kufo, has that taken care of. When people like Kama, of blessed memory, who died of a broken heart a few weeks ago because his life investment of over 40 years had been dissipated and brought to trash by the failure of Baumian Kufuado. President Kufo was quiet. We have not seen President Kufo speak on the hardship Ghanaians have had to face in the last two years because of the domestic debt exchange program. We've not heard President Kufo speak on members of his own political party, the NPP, being involved in Galamse and destroying water for his grandchildren and children. President Kufo has been silent. So to hear President Kufo today wake up and tell us that Baumia is the best thing to happen to Ghana since Ben's bread, I mean, we can't take it seriously. Now, He's been a former president, so Sam George. I haven't taken that away from him. The fact that he's been a former president doesn't... So he has the experience and can identify who is good, who is not. Oh, no. He's not using... That, that's not the yardstick he's using. He's using NPP, elephant. Simple. And I'm saying that whether it is the elephant or the butterfly, because... Wait, wait, how are you calling me? Butterfly. How, butter what? The uh, measure of the butterfly. No, how can you do that? Or the butterfly. Fantastic. Okay. Yes, butterfly or elephant. Elephant. Butterfly. Whether it's the butterfly, a butterfly. Elephant. Or elephant. elephant. Umbrella. A, a Umbrella. butterfly that has transmogrified from an elephant to the elephant itself. Look, today, mm. they are both sitting here. Mm. And this one says, Baumia is, 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 is worse. And this one says, Alan is bad. Oh, Baumia is head of economic management team. Alan was head. Alan Chamantin cannot divulge himself from the mess of the Baumia Akufuado government. He was part of it for seven years. Now we are told he was head of cabinet economic team. Baumia himself, who has admitted that he's a mate, a mate has absolutely no value when it comes to the steering of the affairs of a state. Oh. Look, we are in a critical situation where we need a level head, a trusted hand. Like Alan has asked President Kufo, what is Baumia's track record? Look, everybody keeps talking about, oh, and Baumia was something, what, 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 at the Bank of Ghana. Are you telling me Polakwa was sleeping? I don't understand. Baumia was not was governor. Was deputy governor. Wait. Baumia was not governor. He was deputy governor. Baumia is vice president. He's not president. Is Baumia not telling us today? That as vice president, he has not had the power to do all the magical things he, he needs to do. Meanwhile, you see the logic? Because he was number two, he's number two. Mm -hmm. He's not had the power to do all the things he has to do. Mm -hmm. Then when you flip it to Polakwa's time, when he was number two, that one, the yeah, Polakwa was useless. It was Baumia who was vice governor, deputy governor, who did everything. Baumia is a man who speaks from both sides of his mouth. He's a dishonest and truthful how can you how can, how can you make those conclusions? Did Baumia not promise you a Ghana Post GPS? And you see, when God wants to kill you, he makes you mad first. Baumia is the same person who came with the tagline, Jack, where are you? Ghana Post GPS, Jack, where is it? Is it not Baumia who told us he launched the COVID app with, with Esla Usu? What did the COVID app tracker do for us? What did he do? Look, Baumia has been all over the place claiming all kinds of things. Baumia is the one who promised one, one constituency one million dollars. Baumia, where is that money? Today we should have eight million dollars in Ningo Pram Pram. When you ask them, they point to an eight seater toilet toilet facility. Eight seater toilet facility. Because for I was just about to ask you, do you know it's for managed by massa, the massa, massa, development massa. authorities? Eight million dollars, eight, eight seater toilet facility. So it means one toilet is one million dollars. That's Baumia's track record. Is that an honest person to you? 
But when you're the one who stood in Cape Coast, it wasn't Kufo, it wasn't Nanado, it wasn't Alan Chamante, it was Baumia who stood in Cape Coast and promised the people of Cape Coast an airport and a harbor. Where is it? Where is the airport? Where is the harbor? How can you take Baumia seriously? Baumia is not an honest man. He's a dishonest and truthful politician who must not be taken seriously at any stretch. Look, when Baumia greets you good morning, you look up and check to see if the sun is up because most likely the moon is up. You cannot take Baumia. Look, Baumia is the man who told us that when the fundamentals are weak, the exchange rate will expose you. He said that at the time that the exchange rate was four cities to one dollar. Now, when the exchange rate got to 18, because the time he went to do that is a, a, a media thing at PIWC where Alan and uh, 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 Professor Jamboati, Bafo and Co were sitting there laughing at him. They were laughing at him when you watch the video. Well, it was just a video. They were laughing. Ah, but it was just a video. But if they were laughing, you, you read people's video, gestures and then I, you decided I, to I, make I, those conclusions. I didn't say they said. I said they laughed. Why did you not see them laughing in the video? So uh, they were laughing at Baumia because mm -hmm. Baumia was sweating like a pregnant fish under air condition after delivering a lecture. Look, what did Baumia say? Oh yes, it's true that I said when the fundamentals are weak, the exchange rate will expose you. But it does not mean that now when the exchange rate has gotten wrong, the fundamentals are weak. Do you understand me? <laughs> they started, that, is, that is ugly laughter. Look, we are, we are looking for a serious level-minded person to lead this country. And, 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 and we're not interested in blame games over who has messed the economy up, whether it is Alan, Alan saying it is Baumia or Baumia saying it is Alan. We are interested in the fact that today, and look, you know what I do in my constituency now? I tell people, let mm. us not even... Oh, I'm wrapping up. Why are you the timekeeper now? I'm just calling Roland. Are you the timekeeper now? But, Coffee, you were saying... Coffee, timing. Coffee, you were saying what? You're holding his work. Oh, well, I'm waiting. My time will continue reading. I hope you've forced my time. Good. You have two minutes to end. Thank you. Look, this same... I, I tell people, forget Mahama's record. Hmm? Look at Nanado and Baumia's record. When Nanado decided he's no longer running... Look, a president is always... Active in his first you understand. term. You haven't I'm seen oh, oh, fly oh, wait, 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 wait. Let, me, let me make the point. He's not greater than all that. After Nanado won his second term, he began his plan of handing over to Baumia. So he decided to sabotage everybody in his government for Baumia to emerge. In January 2021, the city, after Nanado had finished his first term, I'm not talking of NDCU. January 2021, after Nanado's first term, the city was 6.2 to the dollar. When they handed over free range to the mates to try run the country, we are at 17 to the dollar today. When when but when Nanado who has, oh, oh, who can, to who? when Nanado when? when Nanado won his second term in 2021, a bag of cement was 35 Ghana cities. It was 20 cities under Mahama. Forget the first four years of Nanado. When Baumia became her apparent and took over the reins of government, it has gone to 120 Ghana city. So Nanado moved. CD from 4 to 6.2 when he was fully in charge. When he decided that Baumia should start practicing to take over, Baumia moved it from 6.2 to 17. Nanado moved cement from 20 cities to 35 cities. When Baumia took over in 2021 as doing trial run, as mate, he's moved it to 120 Ghana City. Look, Baumia is a colossal disaster. He's a failure of what they call an economic whiskey. When his wife said he was an economic whiskey, she, <clears throat> she misspoke. She meant he was an economic scammer. Baumia is a shame and a disaster. Baumia will be studied in economics classes for the next four generations on how you take a healthy economy and destroy it. Ghana cannot be entrusted into the hands of so such no, an no. incompetent human so, being. So, George, <clears throat> how do we get there? Well, let, let's, let's just set the record straight. Maybe Kofi was living outside the country, so he didn't know. But let me remind you, Doomsaw didn't start with... President, you when you were speaking, when, when you were speaking, when you were speaking, you asked me a question. I didn't ask you a question. You I said maybe you were living outside the country. France '98 in this country under President Rawlings, we watched with power rationing. France '98, Mama was not president. In 2006, it's not because we had excess capacity that President Kufuor lined up pastors to go and pray in Akosombo for rain to fall. It's because there was doom so. President Mahama did not have doom so for four years. In 2016, there was no doom so. It's simply because President Mahama took the bold decision to end our perennial problem of undergeneration. 
to make sure we had enough installed and operational capacity to meet our peak demand. Today, you are talking about take or pay and saying that President Mahama saddled us with it. I mean, this is the dishonesty and insincerity on the part of the NPP. They are mirroring their flag bearer. Today, the bridge power plant and at least four other power agreements your government has signed are all take charges. or pay. They are all take or pay charges. agreements. So when you say that President Mahama saddled us with excess capacity charges because of take or pay or take, take, take and pay uh, arrangements, it's the same thing you are doing. How different are you? Take so you see, you see when you sit there, when you sit there and you say that, and again, let's be clear, Baumia did not say. Ghanaians can travel to Ghana with a Ghana card. That's not what he what said. Did, what did he say? I'm reading from City Newsroom, a story on November 2nd, 2021, and I'm sure you would have the same on three. Ghana card to be globally accepted as e-passport by 2022. You can look at my screen and see. Uh, that was later. He says, wait, to me. the Ghana card is said to be recognized as an electronic passport in 197 countries by 2022, the vice president, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, has disclosed. When I tell you Mahmoud Baumia is a dishonest, lying is politician. Because you don't understand what you just read. You understand you me? Just make, because I can explain no, to no. you. No, no. I went. I went. I went. I went. I went. I I tried it. And I was nearly slapped in Dubai airport. You think you look. I went and showed my Ghana card and I was nearly. You are a fine gentleman. If Baumia is sinking with his life, don't go. He, he's, he's, already, he's, he's with him. He's with him. Stop he's going. Okay, gentlemen, gentlemen. Can, okay. can I make my point? He's not sinking. Make, he's rising. Make, make, make uh, when Baumia said 197 oh, countries, in fact, they went ahead to say 44,000 airports would accept the Ghana card. You cannot use the Ghana card but to but travel. As far as I'm concerned, that you was amended use, to mean you that cannot use the Ghana you card to travel to Togo. To Ghana. You, you are, can't use it at Togo. You can't use it from Ghana to travel with to Togo. Sky. Sky travels from Accra to Togo. You can't use Ghana card to travel from Accra to Togo. So you see, when I tell you that Baumia is a scammer, he's a scam artist, a con artist. Eh? Look. And they can sit here and say, oh, some judge is insulting. When they said Mahama was incompetent and called him all kinds of names, that one they said they were describing him. Today, when you describe them in the very way that they are carrying out their activities, then they say, boy, let me tell you something. Boy. Let me tell you something. Baumia, again, and let me use this to corrupt, correct Please. President Kufo. Shush. I want to present, correct President Kufo. It's not true that President Kufo was the one who brought Baumia to the Bank of Ghana. No, 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 it's not true. Baumia was picked as a research assistant and put in a research department by Dr. Kufo. Yes, yes, yes. wasn't President Kufo. You so, you anyway. see, <laughs> Baumia, Baumia's thesis for his PhD, that makes him doctor, was on the economic transformation of Ghana's economy under, under President Rawlings. Baumia, and I tell you that he's a dishonest person today turning around and talking about the NDC. You talk about interoperability. Look, again, I, like I said, you, there, when some George is sitting on a platform with you, there are certain areas you must be careful when you go. And you too. Listen, on the issue interoperability. Of the interoperability. It, First and foremost. He like said you right, he championed it. Wait, like you rightly said, there was a contract in place before Baumia came. One but one even video. before, again, you see, that's why I said you need to be careful. No, that I'm contract, asking you. That contract okay, was okay, at okay. zero cost to the taxpayer. Baumia came and paid $5 million. That contract, you see, when you are doing contracts, let me explain to you. That's my area. Cost let me tell you something. When you are running a contract and the contract is a BOOT, mm -hmm. and you say that the, the contractor must fund the project and will get a percentage of revenue, what you then do is you calculate over a timeline, the 10 years BOT lifeline, what is the value of transactions? That is what was pegged at 1.5 billion, not the value of paying the contractor. The contractor will get a percentage it of that amount. B -O -O. It was a BOOT. You guys don't understand these things. And Baumia runs around and lies to you no, and you no, come and no, vomit no, no. those lies. But listen, no. before Samuel. we even had, wait, 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 before Samuel, we even had Samuel, interoperability, Samuel. Uh -huh. In this country, in this country, in this country, you could send Roland, you were in this country, and Momo has been running for 15 years before Baumia even thought of becoming vice president. Yeah. Listen. They celebrate 15 years this yes, year. Yes, 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 yes. yes. And, and, and let me tell you something. Before interoperability, where we where the Bank of Ghana and that Abdul Nashiru Ishahaku started the interoperability platform, the telcos allowed you to transfer money. You could transfer money from MTN yes. to Vodafone yes. using a token. Yeah. 
So I will transfer to you. They will Are give you, you a token. Code? You will use the token to go to the agent and, and withdraw the money. Well, he says he champion. How, champion what? Champion? Something that was already in existence before you. Why, came. Did you, what are you Why are you not asking the relevant question? How did he champion it? How did he champion it? How did he champion it? Then corruption. He says that three courts in France, UK, and where America said Mama is Geo One. And what did they say about Geo One? Did they say Geo One was involved in corruption? The special prosecutor that Nanado has appointed said there is nothing wrong in, 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 in after engaging the FBI and the SFO of the UK. They found nothing wrong with Mahama. So identifying an individual in an investigation does not in, impose culpability or criminality. But when we talk about corruption, Baumia is corrupt. Baumia is nepotistic. Baumia has. I will give you the. Oh, I will call you. Listen, listen. Let me give you the evidence. No, let me give you the conjecture. You are not giving the evidence. He's asking for evidence. That one was able to shame the argument. Going to conjecture. No, no, no. You are the evidence. Please, go ahead. Give us the evidence. The three of you are shouting over each other's voice, and I think that they are they are dissuading people who are watching us. So please let's tone down and try to wrap. You have you have a minute to wrap up on this. I said Baumia is the epitome of corruption in this election. How do you make those scores? Baumia is not just corrupt, he's nepotistic. He's appointed his brother-in-law, his father-in-law, to po government positions. After doing that, and tell me that that's it. appointment, that's it. Hey. Does he appoint? Can I, can I continue? You end, no, end. No, but tell him to stop interjecting me like no, no, It's okay. Baumia has taken contracts so sourced and given to his blood brother. Oh, how can he take the contract? Oh, so the brother, so the brother so got so sourced contract. contract okay. for his brother. Baumia, he used sat in his office and used allowed one of his aides to use his office letterhead to go and steal somebody's imported rice, rice, rice to go and rice. distribute he your rice. So no, so no, 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 Till today, till today, till today, that person is not in office. is not just corrupt, but he steals people's rice. Just You are talking over it. A Muslim who steals people's rice, you told rice. The man stole rice to go and share for it. Yeah. So, what's the latest on the? human and family val values uh, issues that, that are in court currently. Okay, just before I answer that, let me just read You are still Aikau. going to Aikau. I just want to read Aikau because he said, I so don't know anything about, are... about Ghana card. Aikau is aware of recent and incorrect media reports claiming that Aikau has agreed that the Ghanaian ID card is equivalent to an e-passport. However, it is not Aikau's role to certify the use of a state's identity card for international travel in place of a passport. It is the sovereign right of each individual state to decide upon its entry and exit requirements and the documents that need to be presented by those traveling to and or from its territory. A number of states worldwide accept specified national ID cards as identity documents during air travel based on bilateral agreements between issuing and receiving states. Any decision to accept such alternative travel identity documents is made by the receiving state itself. You've taken one minute. 44,000 can airports is a lie that Baumia told. Now on the LGBTQ, look, it is clear that President Akufuado is part of the pro-LGBTQ cabal. Ah, what has he done? I'll, I'll tell you. President Akufuado is the one who granted an international interview and said to people, if you have enough advocacy in Ghana, you can then have LGBTQ in Ghana. A year later, they came and opened an advocacy office. When President Akufuado's father sent him to Oxford, he stayed with his cousin, the son of J.B. Dankwa, called Paul Dankwa. Today, there is a book that celebrates the hundred leading figures of LGBTQ and homosexuality in the world. Paul Dankwa is in there as one of those who is celebrated. In fact, the only Ghanaian who is I'm celebrated. Just, as we speak today, Paul Dankwa is buried by his gay lover, Akufado's cousin, is buried by his gay lover, a British man in Morocco. It was in his will that he wants to sleep, be buried next to his gay lover. That is the person Akufado stayed with in, 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 in Oxford, when he went to Oxford. It is for these reasons that President Akufuado, when Kamala Harris came to Ghana in February this year and asked him about the bill, he, he like Pontus Pilate, he washed his hands and said, I know nothing about the bill. It is some MPB. Thankfully, Kamala Harris has been sacked from the U.S. What has that with her with LGBTQ. This? And President Akufuado and Baumia, who are afraid to speak on LGBTQ and take a position and take that stance, I have have contracted the chief justice to use the courts
to delay the Sam approval it is a public or of that law. The, uh, the law. Dr. Baumia has publicly said that he doesn't support LGBTQ. Has issues. he criticized President Akufado for not signing the bill? But the president is president. Ah. The president says president, the communication wait, 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 coming wait, 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 out of the president's wait, office wait, wait, is that wait, wait. they have Bera, taken Bera, executive Bera, notice no, 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 of actions Bera. before Ghana's court as a result of that. They want those to be addressed Did before. The same Akufuado not take notice of actions that are still pending on Inevi that went ahead to sign it. It tells you that Akufuado cannot be stopped by a court case when he wants to. But this one, Akufuado is the one who sent Amanda Odoi and Richard Sky to court. Because Akufuado wrote to Parliament on the 4th of March telling us that there was a court case before the courts of Ghana. The court case only went to court on the 5th of March. How did the president know a day before that there was a court case going to court? We all know the relationship between Richard Sky and the current majority leader, Afenyo Makin. So look, let me tell you, the Chief Justice herself is today acting as a cog in the wheel of justice. But like I said to them, Mahama is a flag bearer. He has stated emphatically. The bill is my bill. Keep quiet. He has stated emphatically. Please wrap up. It's not your he, bill. It's he has stated bill. Are there on behalf of Ghana. It, he has bill. stated Correct emphatically. Correct that statement. On behalf of on behalf of Ghanaians, minus Akufuado and Baumia, because they are against Samuel, the bill. Please conclude for me so that I can go to Gusu. In fact, they change no, Chairman. No, 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 let me tell you something. Part of the reason why Chairman Sambonsu, let me say it today. That's Part of the reason why they kicked Chairman Sambonsu out as majority leader was because Chairman Sambonsu supported me to pass the bill. Chairman I'm telling you. Chairman yes. Sambonsu told you that. I'm telling you, we're in Parliament. We know what's going on in Parliament. Because the, 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 the President came to Parliament on the 26th of February. Look, and I'm giving you dates. 26th of February. And when he came, when he met leadership, he pleaded with them not to pass the bill. And two days later, we showed him that we are not a rubber stamp parliament. We passed the bill. Man. And because Chay Mensah was, was instrumental, Chay stood on his feet for two days, eight hours each day, to help us pass that bill. They kicked him out. So now the cases will be called, uh, well, we have 18th, right? The, 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 the Chief Justice is trying to delay for Akufuado to leave so he doesn't sign. Our children and their children will remember Akufuado as the man who lied to God that he will build him a cathedral. Meanwhile, he loves gay people and is supporting homosexuality and is against well, our culture. This is, this is, that is Akufuado's track yeah, record. You cannot this make those. Is, the is, president has I said have that. Made them. He, the, the, the president says that if there is a clarion call and the mass of public opinion, that's what he made internationally, and then says that personally he he doesn't. You don't work in an airport. You work in a consulate. Oh. The, gun, the travel is at when the airport. The Stop saying you work there. I mean, you when we're coming, Govi, when, when you were coming from America, did you come to Ghana? When you were coming from America, did you come to Ghana? You had allowed me to say has never traveled to Ghana with a Ghana car. We are American in Ghana telling us what we Ghanaians must do. Who are American? 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 Ask him when he travels to Ghana with a Ghana card. All the times he's come from America, he's come with a passport. He's come with a service passport. I even doubt whether he has any Ghanaian passport. No, he has a service passport. Service passport. Yes. American is very diplomatic. Good morning to you. I have this one. Let's be very clear about one thing. President Mahama is here to make free SHS better because he conceptualized it and started it in 2015. President Mahama will do four things. We're very specific. Four things to make free SHS better. First and foremost, we're going to complete our e-blocks to make sure that we abolish the double track system. Secondly, we're also going to introduce the free SHS into the private secondary senior high schools to ensure that we take advantage of the available classrooms and learning facilities in there, once again, to make sure that we end the double track system. S thirdly, we're going to break the stealing cabal that is in Accra that has centralized the purchase of food and is buying gogomi infested rice and sending to our children. We will make sure that we decentralize the purchase of food to the heads of schools so that they can make sure that our children get wholesome food. Fourth, we're going to hold a conference. Sam, so there's no gogomi infested rice, that is. Who told you? Are you talking about the Mushosho scandal? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Thank God you know what it is. And then the fourth one is that we're going to hold a conference that's going to bring parents, teachers, students, and government to build a sustainable model and roadmap for free SHS. Mahama is here to end the double track. Mahama is here to end 
parents having to pay for extra classes. Mama is here to end the poor food the is that's given to our children. Mama is not going to end Why free SHS. It's going to make it better. Today? Why are you going oh, today I'll be in the Sojaman constituency. I'm going to be there to support my brother Thomas Ampim. On mm. Sunday, my, we're in Somania. My, Somania my, was fire. Saturday, I was in Asawasi. My, my that was another, there. it was something um, else. In the Sojaman. Yes, uh, he's a, a MPP parliamentary for us candidate. That's Who? Uh, Pius? Oh, you yes, mean the visa contractor? The, the, no, the, the, the one, the, 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 the visa con man. Oh, Who is I don't know why he's Isaac Hughes from Tamaradi. Thank you for your message as well. Sam George will always give you a shoulder. And then also, I have this one, I have this one from, um, Papa Yenzu, Kwisimin team. Frankly, tell Mr. Ameao that. Uh, mm, 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 mm. All right. And then we have a couple more. For those who have joined us on our stream, we're grateful. Please make sure that um, also you live. I have a couple more. It says. Um, Opata, Opata o says. The OSP called. The OSP called oh, the, the mother oh. serpent of corruption. At the same OSP. The OSP. He said. Yeah. He's he so corrupt that he would Cecil, Cecil Mensa, good morning. I'm taking uh, notice of he said um, the president huh? has appointed a new minister 17 OSP. days to election. I I I'm not too sure about that. And then also, um, Hesse Freeman, thank you for your message as well. For the others as well, I can see Ebenezer, um, who also has sent us uh, Hesse Freeman and Junior Corby, and says to uh, Xilis Duane, watching us from the UK, and Nelson. All right, so let me also tell you about how you can have uh, a good beachy tiding and sandy joy this Christmas. You can do that by booking two nights and getting the third night free with all meals inclusive, starting from 6,000 Ghana cities for a couple. Package offered gets include free access to all in-house facilities, including swimming pools, and that's uh, when you visit the... Facilities for Maha Beach Resort, gym available, cinema, popcorn, uh, snooker games. Yes, Maha. Fantastic place. Fantastic place. It will place. be a place to go and celebrate the victory of John Muhammad. No, no, no. Allah will celebrate. Please move up. I saw you in the video. So they also have snooker games and entertainment. 